Hello, one and all. This is Uncle Sublocks. Welcome back to Breath Edge, everybody. It's been a little while since I played. I didn't realize how low my freaking health was. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I guess I need to heal myself. So if I want to make, it's probably a good place to start. I miss the frick. I miss my music, guys. That's really what we need to do. We need. Uh, we need to get the music going, don't we? Generator. Bet suitcase. Where's the uh, items, I guess, eh? Where's my med kit? I need alcohol. I don't think I've seen any any alcohol. Discharge cell. Oh yeah. Wasn't I working on this? The blaster. Now, someone mentioned that I'm going to be finding a lot of this stuff around, so I don't really need to research it all. Titanium, electronics, refined metal. So I've got four, four. I just need the refined metal. Okay. So let's let's make that to begin with. It's gonna take me a feel like a little while to kind of get back into the groove. Um, cause yeah, it has been a little while since I've played. Do I have any refined metal already refined? And I think I was gonna set up an oxygen station to get um to that one area to to um get rid of the charge shoot i need i think i need one more metal okay let's go grab some more metal uh, to get rid of that electric charge so i could uh, investigate it ah uh, yeah my boy I mean, I guess I could go back. Can I get metal? Could go back and like rest or something. Metal's probably... I'll probably find some this way. It's kind of cool to be back to this game. It's, it's, it's chill. Um, it's, which it looks like chill in a good way, you know? And a bunch of people have been asking me if I'm going to play uh, Subnautica Below Zero. And I will when it comes out. I'm actually planning on doing um, Subnautica after this. Because I, I started the game on stream, but I never finished it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to play that. Did I see this before? I think I missed that. Uh, bubble planet. I've never achieved to blow a planet-sized bubble, but I mastered tearing off pieces of gum from my face and hair. <laughs> you can find many ways to suffocate in space aside from chewing gum. Oh, we got a blueprint for chewing gum. Okay, I can't really uh, spend too much time out here because <laughs> if I if I if I'm even like slightly lose any health, I'm going to die. Uh, I guess what I could do is I could probably build a, a bed here, right? In our station. Maybe that's what I should be focusing on. Right. So I want to, I want to restart uh, Subnautica and play through that here on YouTube. I didn't make it very far. Um, and I'd like to finish that off before Below Zero comes out so I can play that blind with all of you guys or, or all the people who didn't play it in early access because it's coming out of early access, right? Okay. Also, I should build like a bunch of storage. What the fuck? I thought I had four. Oh God, I have to get more. Oh, I thought it was only. Th okay. I need to get one more thing of refined metal. I don't have any metal here. Uh, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. 
Oh, oh, the other thing I wanted to check out was um dispenser. Is that the thing that we use? I think that's the thing that we use to build stuff, right? Is there a like bed thing? Toilet, airlock, oxygen generator, power generator, airlock, research table. So I don't have a bed? We have a toilet, but not a bed. That's great. Toilet doesn't come with a bed, does it? Well, that is a real sucky suck. Uh, you think I would have that blueprint from before? I'll play it for a small plant. Okay. I'm trying to remember the name. What name did I? Is it was it Carlos? Our boy here. I know I really, I really, I really kept that Carl thing going. I remember that. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering also, because I probably posted the last video like a day or two before I'm going to post this one. I, I tend to like record in a big, a big bunch. Um, and then I'll release them like a little bit at a time. That's why it may seem like uh, I've forgotten a bunch of stuff, even though it's only been like a day. I'm out of metal there? Okay, well I know I've got oxygen here. Is there like other things in here too? This is where the frozen guy was, right? I remember that! Should probably drink too. Oh, candle. Okay. Oh, sweet. That's where I got the vending machine. Okay, let me just fill back up. Now that's gonna hurt me, right? If I get too close. This looks like a good metal spot. I wonder if also if I even need the blaster to uh, get through those like robots. This is more of a titanium area. Eh? Okay. How's my fuel? 73 tons of fuel. Need to make some water soon. Wow, there was just so much metal at the start of the game. Aha. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's food. Perfect. Is that four? It's only three metal, guys. Shh. Oh. 
Oh shit, I need to go back. That would really, that would super suck if I died. We'll be fine. Pretty sure I don't have enough still. Ooh, inductor. Oh, what am I doing? Yes. Yeah. Let me drop off the stuff that I found. Okay. This is what we do now. Synthetic manure, because we're super well organized. Oh, I got some tape. That's good. Keep the food. Oh, here it is. Why is the fabric there? Oh, must have rolled over. Put the ice and the goo there. Okay. Ah. Got light bulbs over here. Electronics here? These are batteries. Where was I putting my electronic? Oh, here. Cryptid tape. Uh, okay, and then this is where I was putting like all of the... Oh, it's like hanging stuff up. That's right. What the fuck is <laughs> what is this is a bubblegum dispenser? <laughs> but just a box, okay. Hide the pain robot. On on the gum. Okay, let's let's roll out there again. It's like a drink. All right, Carlos. Metal? One thing of metal? Oh yeah, this is the beef thing. Couldn't give me one medal. Apparently not. <laughs> Wait! I got that, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. I don't think I went down here to check for a metal. Isn't this on the other side of the um, station that we went into or whatever? It 
It's like the greatest hits of this area, guys. Honey. As with all, I feel like every time I, I start a new recording session, the first session is kind of like, we're like grabbing some, oh, there we go. It's kind of just like a farming session, isn't it? Oh God. Oh my God. I'm like so low on, on oxygen. <laughs> I got so used to, like, not having to worry about oxygen that now, like, it's happening all the time. I'm assuming eventually we'll have some kind of vehicle that will just provide us with oxygen. I hope anyways. Well, we can start on this gun. Hello. <laughs> now I'm not sure if I need it. Wait, did I throw down all the stuff that I needed? Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I so carefully like the titanium and the electronics. I so carefully like place them. Oh, I'm bouncing off stuff. I so carefully placed them, because that's what I wanted to work on. I picked them up and then I put them back. All right, blaster, 10 minutes. Um, so what I am going to start doing then, my next, my next task is, um, to make one of those oxygen things. Is it a station? Oxygen candle. I, I don't. I guess we need a regular size oxygen candle. Tape and aluminum. Okay. We're kind of short on aluminum, right? And I, I think I've got some regular candles. Oh, I, that's a generator. Shit. Man, I got a large one, but I don't have a regular oxygen candle. Okay. I guess I have to find that. Wait. Generator, scanner. Alkali. Okay. So we've got this. Aluminum for the next thing that we want to build. Metal, where can I put metal? Over here. Where's our beef? Right here. Plastic. Food stuff's over here. Right next to lead. <laughs> Right next to the lead paint, because that's what you want to mix, right? Your your food and your lead paint. That's how I ended up the way that I am. Okay. That's Death City over there, I think. Where am I just gonna find like a normal? A non-large candle. Kind of dumb that you can't use a large one. 
to replace the small one. Is this where I just was? Oh! I'm not sure about its initial purpose, but we can secure the plating with it. Oh, cool! I didn't, uh, I didn't check this one out. I was, I was wondering what this was. It didn't seem familiar to me. It's, um, it's an interesting phenomenon, like, it being in space. Um, you get lost really easily. Scan, okay. Like, you think you might have, like, checked out a spot? Detective cover. Uh, when you actually haven't, just because of all the different... Ooh. Oh. Just because, like, all the different directions you can travel in and how easily you can get, like, flipped around. Broom. Oh, shit. Or mop. The most innovative mop. A lot of money was invested in the liner, seeing that even the cleaners team is equipped with the best tools. What the hell happened to this dude? Just get electrocuted? Okay, I better be careful. They don't run out of O2. Huh, okay. Uh, let's go back. So did I check that one out though? Shit. Yeah, it's so easy to get like turned around and like lost. I'm sure if you're uh, if you guys are playing this game, you probably found some stuff that I haven't, and vice versa. Unless you're like really thorough. Okay, we got this mop. Oh, that goes with the bucket, kinda. Health and safety, right? It's the health and safety. Yeah, the safety wall. Okay, cool. Mops are safe. The discharge cell. I don't remember what this is for. How are we doing? Three minutes left. Okay. He dropped my stuff off. I picked up. Still haven't really found what I was looking for. Oh, the aluminum rolled off. Here we go. Light bulb, battery. Okay. I kind of want to go back to where I was. I did, I did go here. That's where we went last time. Okay. So that's death. I know I'm going back quite a ways, but I think I'm gonna find what I need over here. This is going back to, like, where we first built... Oh, damn. 
where we first built that um, the docking thing. I think. I don't. Did I ever go there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've never been here. I do have a candle with me in case run out of oxygen one of the large ones Ooh. could have used this earlier Alcohol! Aha! Um, shit. I'm gonna use the candle. So I can heal myself, finally. Hades Scrapper! Blaster's done. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, good. I did, I did bring it. What kind of shipping container. Okay. I'm surprised we didn't find like a blueprint or something there. Okay, now I don't have a safety net, so... Can't stray too far. But I also don't remember exploring this. A small airlock that lets the liner's workers go into outer space. Okay. Corridor airlock. <laughs> I'm like bumping into that. That's funny. That's neat. All right. I need to kind of head back. a strange place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Ooh. Enhanced flashlight. I've never even used my fucking flashlight. It's so funny. Auction candle. God damn it. Okay, I need to go back. Ow. Uh oh. Am I going through the frozen area? Babe, I detect signal from intact garage. Maybe there's car there and you can fly it straight to core to save everyone, of course. 
<laughs> Everyone, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, babe, I missed you. Guys, I think I'm gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't using my booster. Oh no. <laughs> you lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Oh no. Did it auto save as I was entering? So I'm in like a, a death loop? Oh no, guys. I'm so sorry. We lost progress. I mean, there wasn't that much progress made. Um. Okay, 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 okay. This is just before the last, the last one. Uh, we don't need the oxygen generator. Titanium. Drop off the light bulb, the battery. Okay. Can I like... Can I just manufacture the candles? Wait, it says one of two? What do I have equipped right now? Large accelerator. Plus I guess, I mean, I don't, I'm using the rocket or the, uh, I'm using Carlos to get around. So I don't know how important that is. Oh, I can make an oxygen candle. I'm a dummy. And a battery, I think it was. Perfect. See, it was all, it was all worth it. Uh, stations, the tape, right here, and the aluminum. Well, also, we know what's over there, right? So I could go back any time and get those things. They're not really that important. Oh, the broom, we forgot to install the broom. That's the really important part, is it? <laughs> and the robot is falling off. Because it like reloads everything or something when you come in. Uh, do I need all these things? Didn't I pick up? I got double shears. And I have a lot of water. Right click to drop, luckless. And do I need to be carrying around this discharge cell? Okay. Um. Like I could say, but I'm not going to. Because why? Why would I do something smart like that? I'm also probably going to make the episodes longer going forward because I'm at the point where 
in order to progress, it takes like a longer amount of time. If you know what I mean? I'm sure that won't bother you guys too much. Oh, there is that spot with alcohol, right? Like I, I should remember. All these coffins belong to the bats of the year 2020. This was the golden age of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, but it's unclear what these old coffins are doing among this debris. Huh. So this is where they're buried. Honesty. Freedom. Ooh, another poster. Breath Edge poster. I'm not sure that when I turn up my toes, the beautiful girl will be crawling on my coffin. Although prices of some coffin configurations make even such thing as possible. The posters of the Breath Edge Company are always very life affirming. Okay, I probably shouldn't dally too much here. Where? Oh yeah, this is where I wanted to set it up. Cool. Um, is it? Seems like really dangerous. <laughs> okay. But I think I can survive with the suit that I have, right? I should probably save. And there's the radiation. Tries the core, right? It reminds me of old space stations that were used about 50 years ago for communication between planets. Besides, some components were produced at Breath Edge Agency factories for sure. Oh, like I thought, you know what? As soon as I entered, I was like, oh, maybe there's just gonna be oxygen here and that was a waste. Fuel. Oh, cool. Oh, there is oxygen in here. I maxed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I could have just got in. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Lesson learned. Oh. I have no idea how they got into the closed system of the aquarium, but there are no more fish here. Floor standing aquarium, neat. If I were to design a trash can, everything would have fit in it. Everything. So we have a lot of these things that I'm picking up already. Guess we're going up. These rooms look like someone's shelter, but it has had no occupants for a long time. A detailed plan of the habitation module. Oh. Large habitation module. Did I get like a bed blueprint? Ooh, I want these. Probably getting pretty full. So I feel like I'm missing stuff. What's this? Someone's notes? They're not legible. I might as well top up. Is 
Wait, there's gravity. The cause of death was a blunt injury to the head about 30 years ago. The body mummified due to the sterility of the environment. Okay. What the hell happened here? Just the crash. First prototypes of the Breath Edge Agency spacesuit without any artificial intelligence. Just you know, move the body out of the way and cut the fabric. Is the whole thing made of fabric? Oh, resin. You don't have a lot of resin. Uh, okay. There's a bed. Now, this is something interesting. It's worth taking a closer look. Study the manual. Oh, nice. Uh, experimental. Innovative technologies of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency for 2043. Device for eliminating facial nerve ending irritation. The engineers of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency have long been searching for a solution to one of the most important problems of mankind. What if a visitor to a space funeral starts experiencing intolerable itching in the face at the most important moment of the ceremony? The answer is not as simple as it may seem at first glance. But with the joint efforts of our specialists, it was finally found. Revolutionary high-tech synthetic fluff brush. Innovative telescopic holder. Novelty brush rotating mechanism. Device is equipped with a revolutionary high-tech synthetic fluff brush. The fluff is shaved from the navels of synthetic squirrels. It is 99.9% .9 identical to natural fur. The innovative telescopic holder lets the brush move across the entire face and rotate 360 degrees. I really need that. Wait, what? ISR-1 protection increase. Activate the advanced protection protocol. Follow the instructions below. Are you fucking serious? Lower radiation? <laughs> please, please tell me this is going to work. Emergency help when waking up in the coffin. Uh, hold on. If you wake up and find that you were mistakenly declared deceased and placed in the coffin of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency while well, you're in a deep sleep, do not panic. Restore your breathing, calm down, and find the trigger specially designed for such cases on the coffin lid at the level of your chest. When you pull it, you'll immediately cease to be bothered by the current situation, and all the conditions of the contract of the agency will remain fulfilled. Coffin lid trigger chest level. Satiate emergency repair guide. In case outer layer of your spacesuit gets damaged, do the following. Open the special emergency repair valve. Take out the kit. Apply a square piece of repair fabric to damage area. Pass the fabric with a super strong titanium alloy thread. We're using a special tool. Special repair tool gets magnetized to the spacesuit. It's not particularly interesting. There are some undeclared functions of several Breath Edge Agency inventions here. Please note section ISR-1 protection increase RAD R53 chip. It's about the first spacesuit prototypes. I have the same chip installed in me. Try to follow these steps. Wait, what was it? Settings game. Lower the radiation. Protection increase protocol activated. The threshold of radiation resistance has increased. So you're saying we could have done this from the start? I hate this game. <laughs> that is... That is really clever. I like that. <laughs> I wonder if we could have done that from the start. Can I do it again? It's gone. 
<laughs> I didn't see what I should have read the other things. I wasn't really paying attention. I just to see there were other games, like actual game stuff. But I think there was more options. There's no such design in my catalogs. What? Uh what is going on with this frame? Nails through it? This is freaking weird. The founders. A unique photo of the two founders of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency. The newspapers mostly mention only the head of the agency. However, what always what always laid at the core of the Breath Edge of Breath Edge was his crazy ideas combined with the fundamental works of the project engineer. Who embodied space funerals into a technically complex reality. This is a photo of the young founders of the Breath Edge Agency, the founder of the agency and the leading designer together at a conference in 2017. Are those the uh some of the developers a too? Item. You could make a similar one. Oh. Um, are those like, is, do they look like the, the dads of the game, I assume? Guys, I should have just come in here. Why didn't you tell me? We can assume that this station was some experiment on the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, but the lack of any information about it, as well as the dead crew member, can lead us to think that this was probably illegal. On behalf of the Funeral Agency, I apologize for your possible complicity in the illegal activities of our company. So this is the next, the next area, I guess. And I have a feeling that's our ultimate destination, right? 